now we're talking uh, bar sports and Tunde is here Tule Ogushu, let me welcome you to the show tonight there's a lot to talk about um, we'll go to Azerbaijan mm -hmm. come back home yeah. and go across secondary schools where do we start from let, let, let's start from Azerbaijan well we could start from Azerbaijan but we could start from home also okay. let's start from um, home. we have the chess players Association of Nigeria chess league that has been ongoing for the past few months uh, mm -hmm. the next edition will be coming up this coming weekend okay uh, that's next weekend actually uh, 17 and 18th of uh, September and it's going I'm, to be I'm curious, the, you, you talk about the Chess Players Association of Nigeria just now. Yes. Is it an annual event? Because that's a question on everyone's mind. Well, is it's, it annual? Is it monthly? This is actually the first edition of the Chess Players Association of Nigeria's Chess League. And it's going to be continuing uh, next year after this one ends by November. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be having the next edition coming up starting next week. I mean next year. So it's, it's, it's well, looking more like an annual thing. And it's going to be very interesting because by next year, we're going to be having different leagues, um, the lower league and the higher league and all that. So it, there are lots of plans going on into this. And of, of course, we, there is a need for funds to come into yeah. it in order to make it better. Uh, we're looking and bigger. To, and bigger. Yeah, we're looking to uh, partner with some uh, banks and some other uh, uh, corporate organizations to glamorize so, the economy. exactly so uh, it's 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 actually something that is looking good and we're we're very happy because we are meeting our aim uh, an under 16 player actually drew with the highest rated player in the country just the last uh, month and a lot that's, of that's heartwarming exactly <laughs> a lot of things are actually going on ladies beating uh, men boys beating higher men and all that so it's it's actually uh, yielding the, the interest, or, or uh, the dividends, yes, that we're looking at. Okay, let's, you oblige me now. Let's yes. go to Azerbaijan. <laughs> well, uh, Azerbaijan has our Nigerians participating in the tournament. Uh, we have uh, the likes of Bomoki Gera. the chess, chess Olympiad? Yes, that's the Baku Chess Olympiad, uh, currently holding at Az uh, Baku, Azerbaijan. Uh, we have the Nigerians participating, Bomoki Gera on your screen there. Uh, and at the same time, we have Bo uh, Daniel Anwuli. How many in total? How many Nigerians? Uh, five, ni five male Nigerians. The female could not participate in the tournament because of funds. Uh, but so we have five. We have five male players there. Right there in Baku. Right there in Baku. Four, four went initially, and we had to do crowdfunding for the fifth player to join them uh, over there. So it's 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 actually very very good. Uh, the players are not doing too well at the moment, but at the same time. It's going to be very, 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 very okay. good. We have to wrap this up, but let me, let me quickly pass the ball to you. Okay. Nigerian involvement in this. Mm -hmm. You have to talk about Magnus Carlsen. <laughs> but do that quickly. The world champion. Yeah. yeah. Well, Nigeria is playing Jersey tomorrow um, at the Olympia, the largest of the Channel Islands uh, between uh, England and France. Uh, and then they played Russia in the first round loss. They played uh, Mauritania in the second round won. Uh, they played Philippines in the third round. Jamaica in the fourth round, Andorra in the fifth round, Angola in the sixth round, and lost them all. Wow! Only to win Macau today, and hopefully we'll be picking up the we'll be t picking up the points uh, tomorrow against Jersey. Uh, Russia played against. We'll be playing against the USA, who have been dominant in the tournament, tournament so far. Yeah, so far. And Norway, Magnus Carlsen has been doing well, not so good, but. He has started doing very well for himself now, and it's going to be very interesting to see what they have to do against Peru tomorrow. And his challenger, quickly? Well, the uh, Russian Sae Kayakin, uh, he's been doing well for himself. Russia has the, the single player that has won all his seven games played in, at the tournament. So it's going to be interesting to see how they hold up against USA tomorrow. Okay. Uh, Tuli, I want to thank you for your time uh, on the show. I mm -hmm. hope Magnus Carlsen will still remain number one. Well, hopefully. Okay. <laughs> All right. After that, this up on the show. We'll do this again next week. Bye-bye now.